piece we're working on is for Bristol Myers Squibb, which is a pharmaceutical company, for a new lab they opened in Cambridge, Massachusetts. What they were looking at was how to figure out their balance between innovation that's happening here and their commitment to patients. A lot of the ideas that went into this project for BMS really began with not just thinking about a moment in time, but how that journey shifts for everybody who comes into the building. There's the work part of our life, which oftentimes is driven by curiosity, and there's the humanistic, almost empathetic driven parts of who we are. And we wanted to create a design that tapped into both. If this building is all about transformational change, the only way to really express that is through something that is literally moving all the time. Two weeks into the project was when we first came up with the idea of this chandelier. Right after we had that initial conversation with the client and we engaged their interest, we called Tate immediately. We didn't just want a partner who we knew would make something beautiful. We needed something that would give us replicatable results. That's the standard that BMS has in their scientific process. That's the standard we have for all the designs we make. And Tate is best in class at delivering something that is reliable over and over. us with this idea of taking a, a microscope lens and amplifying that to 16 inch diameter and then suspending that from the ceiling and also let's make it kinetic. We researched Fresnel lenses with grooves machined into them to create really prismatic spectrums around the room. We chose the bezel as well to give us some kind of anchor point to the lines that go up to the winch. They obviously didn't want it to spin so this was perfect to kind of launch us into developing a product that fits this need. The Sculptor winch is a small winch. You can lift it up, it's so small. It's got two lines to lift a payload and it's zero fleet. So the lines could just come out of a single spot and look really clean. I'm not aware of a winch like this on the market. The big differentiator is safety. There's several DMX winches, but they don't have an e-stop system. They don't have the tight control that Navigator has, and they don't have the safety systems that can meet all the regulatory requirements wherever we use it in the world. There really isn't a limit. The way the system is designed, you can just keep adding them and adding them and adding them and make them as big as you want. We wanted to make them as easy as possible to have the right number for your project. The winches themselves were designed and built in Hampton with the assistance of designers in Haverhill. They were tested in Wakefield, and so we've gone all over the world in bringing this project to life, and we got what we have today, something that we're very, very happy with. The chandelier that we built with Tate has four different basic approaches, all tapping into the science here, the community that we're a part of, and the people that make that happen, and lastly and most importantly, the people who that impacts. One motion that we have programmed into the chandelier are actually patient voices. Patients actually talking about their experience that are benefiting from the drugs that we make at Bristol Myers Squibb. We then take the audio of that, break that sound wave out, it then goes into Navigator, Tate's system, and the chandelier literally moves in sync to those patient stories. There's also another mode that looks at the long term of science that's been happening in this field, where it looks like a rotating double helix. There's an almost geometric dance that the chandelier does, driven by the automated pipettes movements. We feature the Charles River, part of the community here at BMS. There's a cohesive storyline from the chandelier into the lobby. You're really knowing that science happens in this building. And as you exit, you're really reminded of the impact of this work. I think that what's beautiful about this piece and all the collaborators in it, we're all driven by innovation, but not just for the sake of innovation, for the sake of actually impacting people's lives and making them feel or think things they haven't thought yet. I've been in this industry for 40 years. Good research is a combination of highly educated people working tirelessly for their patients to develop drugs. Great research is all of that plus imagination. It's a combination of science and art. That's what elevates research.